All righty, one yard sale down, and as you can see, we got a nice little stack of Switch games. You win! What is up, friends, and welcome back to the latest episode of Thrifting Throwdown, the show all about adding video games to the collection on the cheap. That's right, we do things a little bit differently on Thrifting Throwdown. We're not going to eBay and paying top dollar for video games, and we're not going to resellers and paying markup prices either. We're rolling up our sleeves and throwing down at yard sales, flea markets, thrift shops, you name it, just looking for the absolute best deals on video games because I want to pick them up for around $2 to $3 per game. That way we're adding a ton of games to the collection without breaking the bank. Please clap. And as always, I'm your host into this weird, wacky, wild journey of thrift hunting for video games. I am El Dab Stroyero, and I am that lucha who doesn't like to pay mucha for games. And I've got an absolutely awesome episode for you today. We are going to have so much fun hunting for games, but before we hit the road, we definitely need to take a look at the collection because we need to see where it stands as of today. We've had so much luck recently, added so many games, we are scratching, clawing, fighting our way to 2,000 games, and I cannot wait to hit that number with you. So if you haven't already, hit that dang subscribe button, people, because you can join my tag team, become a little dab of maniac, and join me for every single video game pickup. 2,000 games, 10,000 games, you're going to be here for every single one of them as a member of my tag team. You win. While you're doing that, hit the like button, make me feel all warm and fuzzy by telling me you enjoyed my video, and definitely be sure to drop a comment down below because I always have a blast chatting with you guys. You tell me some interesting stuff about video games, some awesome tips about other stuff I should look for while thrifting. It really is an absolute blast, so be sure Sure to drop a comment down below and hey be sure to check out the premieres as well because i hang out for every single new episode chat with all the dabba maniacs that we have an absolute blast today is going to be no different we're going to have a ton of fun out on the road but i think that's just about enough talk for now we need some thrift hunting action so lace up your boots let's hit the road because it is time for a thrifting throwdown oh yeah Hey, good morning. Oh, I see you got a pretty dog there. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, let me go. Hey. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's the name? His Gunner. Gunner. Hey, Gunner. You were gunning right for me. Oh, big jumper. I love seeing dogs at yard sales. Come on, let's go. We're going to go up to the house. I see you got the snow cone machine set up and everything. Oh, hey, you're back. <laughs> He's found his favorite. Oh, buddy. Go ahead. Get going. So indecisive about leaving. <laughs> That's cool. We got some wrestlers sitting here. Oh, a buck a piece. R.I.P. I see you got some Switch games here. Is this it in terms of like the video games? That's So would you do any kind of bulk discount on these games if I grabbed a few of them? I was I was thinking about it, yeah. The only thing I'm not sure, I think I don't know if they came with manuals or not, but there's definitely not manuals in them, so I'm gonna no, assume we've they never didn't. had manuals. For okay. Any of them. Okay. Um one, two, three, four, five, six of them, what would you do for that? Well it would be forty five how about thirty? 30 for them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I Could feel like you... the Harry Potter one is a decent one yet. Like these are older. Like I'm not yeah. worried about that one. I feel like it's a better one. Yeah, the sports titles are usually not a lot of value. No, these, yeah. these would be the two that yeah. are like the most interesting. Would you do 20 for the pile? 25. I can do 25. That's I'll fair. 25. That's fair. Alrighty, one yard sale down, and as you can see, we got a nice little stack of switch games. We're gonna stop right here in the grass real quick. Nothing super special here. I think the best thing out of this is probably gonna be that Lego Harry Potter game, or maybe the WWE game, or I guess Harvest Life, but I don't really know that game, so I don't think it has a ton of value. But I did also grab this little bag of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. I'll find homes for all those misfit toys. It looks super cute. I think I'm gonna give it to my sister, but I got the whole pile for 25 bucks. So I mean, that's pretty good, right? Boom, Just about $4 a piece, maybe a little bit more. So a little bit higher than I like to pay normally, but I really don't see Switch games out in the wild that often. So happy to pull the trigger on a nice little stack of these guys. But yeah, definitely more yard sales to hit up today. So let's see what else we can find, guys. Let's roll.
Definitely wasn't expecting the big mannequin in the uh, <laughs> Santa Claus hat <laughs> with no clothes on. Caught me off guard. <laughs> There's a whole family of them over here too. Oh boy. <laughs> and that's my cue to exit. Awesome little micro machine set here too. That's super vintage. You don't really see that that often. George Washington flintlock dueling pistol. Wow, that is interesting. The Harlem Diplomats. That's super vintage, that poster. That is so cool. Barbie Beauty Center. Wow, I haven't seen that thing before. There's so much cool stuff at this yard sale. All right, I'm gonna... There's some loose stuff in the box, too. Burnout Dominator, MLB, MLB, Madden, 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 NCAA. Spider Man game. Come on, Vominos. <laughs> so I see you've got this box of games marked for 30. Would you take 20 for it? Yeah, perfect. I'll do that. It's mostly sports titles. Otherwise, I'd just pay the 30. <laughs> I don't mind poking through and seeing what pops out. Like, this one's a game. Bachelor. <laughs> I'm sure you want that one. I mean, yeah, I'll throw it on the pile. Why not? The Bachelorette chose you, and she would like to keep the intimacy going. She's waiting for you here with a bottle of her finest. Cartoon characters having sex? May I point out that the sex appeared to be consensual. It's like playing the, the dating game or something, right? Yeah. I didn't actually know they made a game for The Bachelor, so that's surprising. Apparently they did. Yeah. And apparently I had it. Yeah, apparently you bought it. <laughs> that one was mine, I don't know why. You actually admitted to it? Uh -huh, that one was mine. Okay. Did you play I, it? I don't think I ever played it. Okay, you just bought it and then never played it. I think so. Yeah. Knowing it has sentimental value to you, would you part with it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that it Here's a book in here. I'll give you an extra buck for it if that's all right. Perfect. All right, Thrift fans, as you can see, we are out here. We are out here in the middle of nowhere, basically. Farmland, beautiful farm country, but hey, you don't really expect to find games out here. Even so, as you can see, PSP games, UMD videos, DS games, PS4, Nintendo, Wii, we scored an awesome little haul for 21 bucks here out in the middle of nowhere. Look, you can see a cow way out there in the distance. <laughs> yeah, as awesome as this score is, it is just the beginning. We need to hit the road and see what other luck we're gonna have today. So I'm hopping back into the car. You're gonna hit that like button for me to show me how much you love this pickup. But other than that, let's see what kind of luck we have today, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Morning. Oh, 3DS stylus, that's cool. And a whole bunch of Leapster stuff. Like a lot of Leapster stuff, wow. I mean, these are all different types of games here. This is not stuff that I collect, but... Does anyone out there collect this stuff? Color... Pixter? I've never even heard of that before. Color Pixter. And like these are all games as well here. Learning app tablet, yeah. Educational games, but still games technically. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. I'm kind of surprised they've got the DS case and no DS games. Seven bucks for a bag of Minecraft stuff? That's pretty awesome. I saw you had the DS case there. There's no DS or anything to Some go with it, right? guy took all the games, Ooh. and then a lady came and took the two consoles we had. Oh, today already? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was late, I guess.
Oh, that's an awesome Pokeball and some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. I have a friend who's just telling me they are looking for some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Pokeball, go! For a dollar, though? That's super cheap. A dollar, I'm going to get that, and I might get these, too. Minecraft books? That's fun. Didn't know they made adult Minecraft books. I remember seeing this thing at the Goodwill Bins. Anyone remember that episode? That's fun. Oh, yeah, I found the video games. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Pet Rescue Epic Mickey for two bucks. Birthday for two bucks. That was two bucks as well. Well, some of these are new, so. Pretty sure I have that Hannah Montana game already, but. Don't have those. So I've got a pile of, pile of stuff here. So I saw there's these plushes and a few others in there I might be interested in, and then this pile of games as well. Wonder, let me go grab the other plushes just so we can see what we're talking about here. A few moments later. Oh wow, you've got them coordinated by person. Oh, I know, <laughs> yeah. we know, yeah. Made the job hard for yourself today. I know, two, four, six. Eight, well, some of it is my granddaughter's and she wants the money for it. Oh, gotcha, of gotcha. Course she didn't pay for it, I did, by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, it always works like that, doesn't yeah. it? Two, you want to do a deal four, on it, so. Deal yeah, I said if, ones. well, I, said, I mean all of it together, of it. whatever you want to, you know, you give me for okay. a bulk right here. So 12 I can't two, do deals. 12, <laughs> she knows I'm bad. Somebody Thank just came by and got a great deal. She was like, calm down, mom. You'll make it. Because I just, I know what I paid for the stuff. Yeah. You know, and they were DS games. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, she was just telling me someone bought those right before I got here. Yeah, they were like DS3, 3DS, 3, 3, yeah. 3DS, and they were like the Pokemon ones. Oh, those just are the same. really good ones, yeah, yeah. I know. Sometimes those can be a few hundred bucks a piece. All right, let's pull up in the grass here and take a look at these sets of stuff I just got. Obviously, I picked up that whole big pile of these little plush toys. I don't really pick up plush normally. It's not really my expertise or something I'm looking to get. Bunch of different Minecraft, bunch of different Five Nights at Freddy's plush. These are pretty cool looking. I think some of these might end up on the shelf. I've definitely got friends with kids who love Five Nights at Freddy's and Minecraft, so I'm gonna be giving some of these away, I think. But I'm also gonna look them up and see what kind of value they have because I really just don't know anything about these things. They could be worth, you know, a hundred bucks. Who the heck knows? But yeah, unfortunately my phone cut out there so you didn't get to see what I, you know, paid for these and you didn't get to see the haggling, but basically they gave me a bulk price of 28 and I got them to round it down to 25. So I did pick up a nice little stack of games in there. Nothing really special. I don't think any of these titles are gonna get anyone excited, but they're all new to the collection. So some pretty good pickups there. The one downside they were telling me there, as you saw, they had some Pokemon games sitting out. Sounded like 3DS Pokemon games. They sold them for under $20 a piece. So I was just a little bit late on those. Dang it. <laughs> Can't be there first every single time, but I've already picked up a bunch of games today, so it's going pretty well regardless. So I'm pretty pleased with picking up these for 25 bucks because I got all these plush as well. Nice little pile, what do you think? Oh yeah. Alright, Dabamaniacs, back in the game room once again, and we have a pretty terrific haul to look at today. Not only do we have a massive pile of games here, not only do we have a bunch of PSP stuff, we also have Rudolph North Pole set. Burr, 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 burr. But we also have a massive pile of plush, which we do not normally see on this channel because I am not a plush collector, but I could not pass them up. And you know what else I can't pass up? I can't pass up making it rain plush. Oh yeah! Your drunken, childish buffoon. 
All right, that's enough playing around with these toys. Let's actually take a closer look at what we got here. As you can see, we've got a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. Recognize that right away. Even though I've only really played the game like once, I'm not super familiar with all the characters. Like obviously I recognize them as from the game, but I couldn't really tell you their name. I think this one's called like Bird. And of course everyone's favorite character, Mechanical Fox. And of course, who can forget Crying Juggalo. All right, so even though I'm not a plush collector, even though I'm not a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, I still couldn't pass these up for the prices they were asking. Around one to $2 per plush, especially since a few of these have some good value, so you know I had to snatch them up. The ones I'm more excited about would be these Minecraft plushes. I think these are super cool. My favorite is this one here. I think it's an ocelot, but how cool looking is this thing? But yeah, like I said, some of these have some pretty good value. Off the top of my head, I don't remember really which ones have good value. I'm gonna guess maybe the Ocelot, maybe uh, Freddy. Oh yeah, and we've got the Pokeball in the back too. Most of these I'm gonna be giving away to a friend of mine. They said their kid really likes Five Nights at Freddy's and would love to have some of these plushes. So I'm more than happy to pass these on to someone who's gonna appreciate them more than me. But I may just keep one or two for the room. So eagle-eyed viewers, keep your eyes open for these plushes popping up in the backgrounds of my videos. I'd love for you to let me know every time you have an ocelot sighting, because I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this one. Way too freaking cute. Okay, but now it's time to actually take a look at this awesome pile of games. So I pulled out the Wii games real quick. Bachelor was super funny. The woman admitted this was her game. Hey, I wouldn't have said anything otherwise, but definitely funny to pick that up from her. Not one I'm gonna really be playing. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be playing any of these. I mean, a few of them might have some kind of decent value. I actually think these Jumpstart games do have a little bit of value. As you can see, I've got another one here, Jumpstart Adventure Island. So uh, that might be fun. We see, I think is worth a few bucks. Nothing too exciting there though. And then obviously the last two Wii games I picked up, Epic Mickey and Dora's Big Birthday Adventure. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. But yeah, congratulations to Dora, happy birthday. But congratulations to me as well for picking up this awesome little pile of Wii games. I'm adding a bunch to the collection here, so I'm thrilled about that. Hole in one. All right, looking at the PlayStation 4 titles next, we have got probably not the most exciting pickups we could have had here. Just a ton of sports titles. So many sports titles, in fact, that I picked up two of the same version of Madden at some point and didn't even realize it. So yeah, I don't think anything in this pile really has a ton of value. There may be like 10 to $15 on one of these, but I'm gonna guess most of them are five to $10 value. A few of them might even be duplicates, but hey, I wasn't going to leave behind just a handful of sports titles and take all the good stuff. So I don't mind picking up a few duplicates every now and then, because like I always point out, we've got case upgrade opportunity. Case upgrade opportunity. C-U-O, C-U-O, C-U-O. Next, we've got our DS pickups from the day. And of course, you know, Major League Baseball 2K7, whatever. But this is an awesome little pickup here. Pretty sure this was complete. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful looking manual, beautiful looking game complete in case, minty looking condition, super thrilled about that pickup. That is an amazing addition to the collection. All right, the next things we're gonna talk about here, are these awesome little Switch pickups. I think these were the first things I picked up today, which is super nice, because I don't really see Switch games out in the open that often. And I almost didn't pull the trigger on these because as I was looking at them, I knew a bunch of them were sports titles and nothing special, but surprisingly, these have some decent value. Pretty much everything in this pile is worth, you know, a decent little amount. So I'll throw the comps on the screen, obviously, but I was really shocked by the value that some of these games had. But I think the highlights in terms of value, probably Harvest Life. But if we're talking value in terms of like playability, definitely gonna be these Lego Harry Potter uh, compilation collection here or WWE 2K18. This is one of the best pickups of the, of the Switch pile here. And the very last thing we need to talk about is this massive pile of PSP stuff. And you know, I do not see PSP stuff out in the wild all that often. So I was so surprised when I found these out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of farmland. So strange. And you know what's even stranger? I would have expected to have found the PSP at that yard sale too, since they were getting rid of all the games. But hey, I didn't think to ask, so it's too late now. But yeah, not a ton of value here in this PSP stuff because it is mostly sports titles, but in general, PSP titles do have a little bit of value. So nothing here is gonna be less than $5. Nothing here may even be less than $10. Even the Madden titles might be over $10 since they're PSP games. So the standouts for me from the PSP pile are definitely gonna be Burnout Dominator. Cool little card game. Looking forward to playing that on the PSP I picked up a few weeks ago. By the way, check out that episode if you haven't already. I got a $5 PSP so I can actually play all these games now. 
But that looks like a fun little title. And then of course, NCAA games tend to have a little bit of value on, uh, on common console. So I'm hoping that has a little bit of value. But then super surprising, two different UMD videos were included and both of them are sealed. How shocking is that? Probably less shocking, however, that they don't really have a lot of value anyway. So yeah, still kind of cool to be adding my first real UMD pickups to the collection, but the other cool thing about these pickups with the PSP, I got two loose games as well. We've got a SOCOM game here that doesn't have a ton of value, and we've also got Spider-Man 2, which does have a little bit of value. So that was a pretty cool pickup. Just wish I had the case with it, unfortunately, but hey, you're not gonna win them all. I'm still thrilled with this massive pile of PSP games. As you know, I don't have a massive PSP collection so far because I'm still pretty new to the console, but... At this point, I'm clearly adding a whole bunch of titles to the PSP collection, so I'm thrilled about that. And I'm so hyped that you were here for this journey as well. There you have it, Dabamaniacs. There's our total haul for today. We've got the plush, we've got the games. We have got it all today here on Thrifting Throwdown. It was a heck of an episode. We had a lot of fun out there, but probably the best part about today is that we picked up all of this amazing stuff at an amazing price. We didn't overpay for these games. We got them at thrift prices, which is exactly the point of Thrifting Throwdown. So if you love game hunting, if you love thrifting, if you love getting games at cheap prices, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll be here for 1,500. Bruh. Wait a minute, we just hit that. You'll be here for 2,000 games, 5,000 games, 10,000 games. You're gonna be here for every single video game pickup. And while you're hitting subscribe, don't forget to hit that like button because one, it lets me know that you enjoyed the video, which I definitely, definitely always appreciate. But even more importantly, it helps let others know that it's a video they might wanna check out as well. We don't leave it all up to the YouTube algorithm here. By hitting that like button, we help to grow this channel. We help to grow this little tag team. We help to grow Thrifting Throwdown. And I'm so thankful for those of you who hit that like button. You but also win. a lot of fun. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Say hello if you're a new subscriber or if you've been here for a long time and haven't really dropped a comment before, say hello and let me know how long you've been watching because I've had some awesome pickups in my first 50 or so episodes. And speaking of the pickups on this channel, let's take a look at the collection because it is growing and climbing and getting so big at this point that I'm running out of space in my room. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm putting these plush. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm putting these games, but that is a problem for another day. Before I let you go, I wanna remind you that my best thrift of the day is coming up any moment, so you wanna stay tuned for that. But if you're craving more thrifting throwdown, if you're craving more El Dab Shrero, not only do I have a bunch more videos for you, but you can follow me on social media at LDabstroyero. I mostly use my Instagram. I post really cool stuff, things I see while out thrifting, cute dogs I see, whatever's on my mind really. So be sure and check that out. But that about wraps things up for me. It has been an absolute pleasure. I am so thrilled that you joined me for this episode of Thrifting Throwdown. And I hope you're gonna be here for the next one as well. But until next time, keep on thrifting. Oh yeah. R.I.P.